Okay, let's clean up the scale bar. So I am here in ArcGIS Pro and I've created a layout with a basic, very ugly map. I'm gonna insert a very standard scale bar. I try to avoid uh, the really fancy ones that are highly graphic and can be distracting. These, I think, these kind of survey rod, um, you know, they're great for kind of classic geologic maps, but um, for a quick scale reference, I like to keep it simple. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just plop something big in there so we can see what we're working with. Um, and then zoom in a little bit on that. My mouse isn't working, that stinks. Okay, there we go. So what we wanna do is reduce the number of um, divisions and labels, clean it up and get a nice round number on the end. So double click to open the properties. And I like to use for the scale bar formatting this second tab. The first one gives you options for, um, and this is really important because with projections, the scale isn't gonna be the same all the way across the map. So this gives you the option to compute at the center of the map, which is kind of neat. Um, map units, here's where you can change that and make it something like kilometers or meters, or when you're dealing with fractions, if you've got you know 0 0.13 kilometers, that's a little bit awkward, right? No one intuitively knows what 0.13 kilometers is. Um, so you could change that to meters here. Um, and then uh, resize behavior. We're going to talk about this one in just a second. All right, so go over to this second one and clean it up. And I like to use the ends and zero. And so this is the properties. This is the numbers and the marks. So the ends and zero, I just make a match. It's a great place to start. If that's not enough um, detail for you, now granted this is too big, and you want to have some divisions, that's fine, but that's where you would mess around with that. Um, for example, we could have the numbers. You always want to have more marks than numbers. So we could have a division uh, first midpoint, something like this. Um, we could label this middle one. Oh, no, we don't want that. Nope, we don't want that. Okay, so that's, you know, fairly clean. Obviously, now we want to resize it because, remember, you want your scale bar to be about a quarter of the width of the map. So I've just sized it down, and we're at 120 miles, so a 100-mile scale bar would be really, really perfect for this map. So I could sit here and resize it and try and get it to be at exactly 100, or this is where this other setting comes in really handy. Um, we can, um, the resize behavior, we can, as we resize it, we can adjust the division value, or if you set it to adjust width and set the division value for, right now our division value is 40, so we'd want that one to be 50. Hello. Um, now that's locked in. So as we resize the map, it's actually going to make the scale bar increase and decrease in size to match what we've done, you know, if we were to change the scale on the map. So that's how you clean up um, a scale bar. You want it to just be something that you glance at and can use really quickly and intuitively. Um, it doesn't need to contain a ton of detail unless your map's purpose is very specifically about, you know, measuring distances or um, if you're making kind of a classic um, formal traditional map where a dual scale bar with dual units or something like that is really practical. Um, okay, thanks.